Where is Sophia, the AI now? Artificial intelligence is probably the most fascinating field in the science right now. It's crazy how we as human beings have come so far and now we have robots that look exactly like humans. One such robot is of course, Sophia. Do you all remember her? If you don't, then let's go through a quick recap. Sophia the robot is one of the best inventions in the field of artificial intelligence. She was developed by the researchers at Hanson Robotics back in 2016. While she doesn't look exactly like a human, she comes pretty close to it. Even more fascinating is that she can carry out most of the tasks that humans can. However, it's been a pretty long time since we last heard of her, so let's see where she is right now. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, and I hope you're all safe and healthy. Today's video is going to be very interesting, as we are going to talk about Sophia the robot. Specifically, we are going to talk about where she is right now. This video is going to give you a better understanding of how much humans have accomplished when it comes to artificial intelligence. So without further delay, let's get started. Sophia was developed by David Hansen back in 2016. Well, he wanted to make a social humanoid robot that could assist human beings in decision making. And it seems he was quite successful. If you just watch a video of her, you'll realise that her manners, gestures and conversational skills are pretty similar to us as human beings. So much so that in 2017, the Saudi government decided to give her Saudi citizenship. David Hansen even went on to say that Sophia could advocate for women's rights with her newfound citizenship. Well, who knew a robot could do that as well? Now, we all know that Sophia's entry into the modern world has been groundbreaking. Through her existence, AI researchers have managed to prove that a world filled with robots is in the near future. Since her development, Sophia has appeared on many talk shows, attended business meetings, and she even attended forums across the world. On top of that, she has traveled to more than 66 countries. With the passage of time, Sophia has been altered and developed even further. Along with that, Hanson Robotics also introduced her whole family. Guess how many robots there are in a robotic family? Well, we don't know about the rest of the robots, but Sophia's family has nine robots. Among them, we have Sophia's little sister, who was introduced in 2018 and went on sale in 2019. Sophia's little sister can sing, walk, dance, track faces, and tell jokes just like Sophia. But her main purpose is to introduce kids to STEM and help them learn to code. 2020 has been quite significant for Sophia. Hanson Robotics introduced a new 2020 version of Sophia with even better features. In fact, she was developed through the incorporation of hardware and software by Hanson Robotics. Along with that, her design was updated as well. Sophia 2020 is available in any skin colour, including the original non-natural skin. Her facial expressions have also improved, and she is much more realistic. She's also the same size as an average human, so interacting with her does not feel weird. From her speech to facial expressions, everything has been fed into her. She also has more freedom when it comes to her features, and she can even move her fingers, hands and shoulders. You can tell that Hanson Robotics has been working hard on improving her features, especially by trying to make her more realistic. The first model of the Sophia 2020 robot has been renamed Asha, which means hope. It is meant to symbolize the hope for a better future for AI. Asha has left the Hong Kong lab and has traveled to India. The robot is a great help in business applications, healthcare and education because of its ability to research efficiently. With the recent updates in Sophia, it has become easier to communicate with her. Longer physical interactions are possible. Sophia has even more human-like characteristics, such as face detection and body recognizing sensors. People love her new version because she has become even more relatable. The best part is that she even has a sense of humor. She has brought a great benefit to scientific fields, especially artificial intelligence. Sophia paved the way for new robots like Little Sophia, who is inspired by her and we recognize her as Sophia's baby sister. While a lot of people are extremely proud of the progress Sophia has made, there are many who have their reservations. They call her nothing more than a doll who can speak. Do you agree with that? Sounds like an extreme opinion, don't you think? Sophia is not just a talking machine. 
but in fact, she is a robot who can help us understand human behavior. On top of that, she can help humans in decision-making, and she's also working on a better, more sustainable future along with her designers. Her presence on screen helps her creators to educate a larger group of people about technology. It's pretty ironic when you think about it. AI helping people understand AI. So what do you think about Sophia 2020? And what do you think AI will accomplish in 2021? Do you find it all fascinating or are you scared about how far things can go? Tell us your take on all this in the comments below. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video and I hope you learned something new. Don't forget to hit the like button on your way out and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.